So yeah, it snowed a couple more times since I put my tires on. My summer tires, that is. That's to be expected though. So hand wag has been around since 1921. So, you know, they've been around a while. They know boots, that's for sure. Um, and the Alaska GTX was first introduced in 1996. So I figured I'll take you with me here since I'm wearing these boots and it's a boot review. So this is my review on the Hanwag Alaska GTX boots. I picked these up in 2015. I was on a roll buying some good equipment. I was going through some crappy equipment really quick and I just wanted to treat myself to some good stuff. So I, I picked up some Arteric stuff. I picked up a couple of pairs of these. Actually, I bought this in September 2015. I found the email receipt. And two months after these guys, I picked up another pair of hand wag, and I'll put a link to those in the description below. It's a friend of mine's place southeast of me, about an hour and a half. He's got about 3,000 acres. And I like to shoot long range, and I, I hunt, rifle hunt. So we've got a few toys we're going to play with today and sight in. Uh, long range, I guess, depends on what you call, you know, what, what your long range is. But here we can shoot out to two kilometers. These are a wide-fitting boot. So, you know, I kind of narrowed down my decision with, you know, starting with wide fitting boots and these guys came up and nothing but great reviews on these. So I wanted a pair for myself. These are totally waterproof. They are totally sealed right up to here um, and they're breathable. This is Gore-Tex lined. It's got a laminate Gore-Tex in there. They're not insulated, but it's really thick in here and padded. I've had these in minus 20. but they're not really minus 20 boots. They were fine when I was hiking in minus 20. We were actually hunting and then I'd stop and you know we'd, we'd hang out in an area for like half an hour and my feet would start to freeze up. Once I started walking in, no problems with these guys. Minus 10 all day long, no problems with this. this these are just amazing boots. And we're just gonna set up some steel. And again, we're just playing around today. We're not gonna go seriously long. We just wanna sight in some new toys. But yeah, this is the spot. Now you can see the Rocky Mountains there to the west and the forerunners in its natural environment. If you've never owned a pair of good hiking boots with the ball bearing laces, these are awesome. So when you cinch these guys up and you can see the ball bearings here, they just, you know, they just go all the way down through. So it, you know, really cinches everything up nice and even. Uh, it's not like you're pulling laces like on skates, working your way up. They just roll beautifully. And today I'm not really wearing anything technical. I've just got an old pair of snowboarding pants on because you know what, pretty much we're lying around in the mud here. So I'm not gonna bring my Arteric stuff. It's got a Vibram sole, which is the best. And it's got a bit of bounce in it as well, the sole. Um, so it's not totally stiff, although it is a very stiff boot. Lots of ankle support. And again, totally waterproof and breathable. So that's pretty amazing. So I don't know if you guys have uh, these little beasts in your part of the world, but this little run here, it's from Pocket Gophers. And they make these crazy bumps all over the place. So when you're driving here and you hit one, you know it. I'm not going to show any G-U-Ns, and I spelt that because I don't think the robots can spell. Um, I don't think uh, YouTube likes that stuff, and well, it's obviously they don't, so I'm not gonna include any photos of, of that. I'm just gonna kind of show you the area. And again, just kind of include this into the boot review because this is what I'm doing with the boots. So it's a waterproof Gore-Tex membrane uh, and the upper is new buck leather. Sole, like I said, was Vibram. Um, the lining is Gore-Tex. These guys are kind of a, these guys are listed as a hiking, trekking, you know, hunting boot. And I pretty much use these just for hunting. Uh, the only thing is I, I do bow hunt and what I did find out, I'll see if I can duplicate it here is that that noise when i'm creeping up to a deer within 30 you know feet or whatever i've been really close and the only thing you can hear is my boots crunching away like that so what i did to fix that and it's actually making that noise again but uh prior to me getting out hunting again this fall 
I will put uh, Nick Wax in here. Nick Wax is like a boot care, leather care product, and it just slicks it up. There's absolutely no sound. But I didn't know that the first time I was out, so it did, you know, it was doing this every step. And it was not good when you're creeping around. So that's the only thing with those that I found to be kind of weird. Um, when I first got them, of course, it's an easy fix, so it's not a, it's not really a, a negative or a, a con, that's for sure. Hey guys, I just passing by a great horned owl nest, and I don't know if I can show this guy to you or not. He's literally right here. There he goes. He's jumping around, and that's as far as I can zoom. And the nest is just here in that tree. Beautiful boots, really well-made stuff here. I think I don't. I don't think I'll ever need another pair of boots. These will last another 20 years. Um, they say that these guys need um, about 50 kilometers of hiking just to break in, and it's true. They're really kind of stiff until you do uh, get them broken in, and they they still look like new. And I don't know how many kilometers I've I've cruised around in these, but these have been amazing. I can only give this you know uh, two thumbs up, um, and my other ones as well. So comfortable for me, and again, it's, I've got the wide foot. Um, these guys are size, what size are these? These are 11 and a half uh, US size, or in Europe, uh, that's 45. I think I might go one size bigger if I was gonna do it again, just so I can get a bigger, fatter sock on there. But I do have some heavy duty winter boots now that's you know, good for minus 30, so I'm probably not gonna put these into that position again. But again, great sole, total quality, these things are the best boots I've ever owned, and you know, including my other hand wag boots. Unbelievable quality, uh, made in Germany, and and they're they're just something else. So I just kind of wanted to let you know what I thought of these guys because I have owned them for quite a while, and they are amazing. The only thing with this guy is if you're in mud, these cleats are pretty, uh, the treads are pretty deep, and it will definitely um, stick in there. So you kind of collect a lot of crap with you. But if it's dry and you're in the rocks, mountains or whatever, um, you're, you're doing well, no problems. See, it's not too bad now, it's pretty dry here. So this is how we range. I set the tripodometer to zero and then go out to a kilometer or half a kilometer it's pretty accurate out to, you know, each time it clicks over to 100, 200, 300. Um, that's, anyway, that's how we do it. Uh, we also have range finders, but this seems to work when you're shooting long range, uh, you know, over a kilometer, it's kind of nice.